Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Sea of Stars, where I see a rainbow conch shell down there, or chest down there, and I want it. Let's go fight some dudes. Fight some dudes for the crank, I guess. Um. Uh. I wish I could hit everybody at the same time, but I'm not allowed. So I guess I'll stop this guy from creating a clone of my team. I wish I could block that, I really do. Uh, alright, so, Zale, you're almost dead. We need to heal up. There we go. Back to full health. And now, Valir, who do we want to beat the hell out of? Uh, that guy. Well, didn't kill him. Ow. I did not time the swing properly. Actually, I think that might be a waste of... mana. Nope, it wasn't a waste of mana. I made a mistake. Block! Alright, Valir. Um, we're gonna play some tennis, and hopefully it doesn't backfire. Hopefully we kill everybody. Shit. Well, I got one guy. Oh, Valir's dead. Bye, Valir. Um... Alright, so, um... Oh, wait, I, I can stop him. I can just disorient him, right? I'll just kick him in the groin. Kick him in the groin! <clears throat> so I'm about to, uh... Do a lot. Well, not as much as I thought, but it still, it still hurt. It still dealt some damage. Dang it. <clears throat> Dang it. Um... Do I have something that heals the party? Yeah. It's not nearly enough, but hopefully it'll do. Slurp kiss. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. Uh. I get the feeling she's gonna get hit. Bang. I was wrong. Dang it. <clears throat> and Valir's back up. Oh boy. Now we're gonna crash and arc everybody. Thunk the thunk. Ow. Oh, and Zale's dead. Whoops. Sorry, Zale. Hmm. Which one do we think is more important, the Garnui or the... Nah, we're gonna kill the Garnui. Because Zale can't kill all of us. He can only hit one person. There, and we're done. I don't want to talk about it. <clears throat> so does she get back up with one health left? 23 health, okay. Give me that. Valve. Sorry, it's not a crank, it's a valve. Um, items. Uh... There, you get that. You get that. Alright, good enough for me. So, what is the point of this room? There's another crank down there, sorry, another valve down there. So I guess we're going up? Alright. Sure. Back through the pipes. Beep.
Interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so where's this gonna lead me, do we think? Uh, almost assuredly to my doom, but we're still gonna go. And hey, cool, there's gonna be a third area that I can go to. Excellent. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, well, that gets me the pearl. Um, and the other crank, I think. Yeah, valve. Alright, let's go steal some shrimp. Some seafood. Uh, where? How do I get over there? How do I... How do I get out of here? Alright, that wasn't exactly the answer. But it was fun. Whee! Alright, so let's see where this other valve sends me off to. Probably that way. But I don't know where exactly that would be. <coughs> Excuse me. And a valve. Beep. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I want to jump off the edge. Stop spinning the thing. Clip. And back in we go a third time. Up and around and over and through. Going for a nice little spin. Yep. Alright, what's this do? That lowers the gates. Okay then. So I can actually leave with my present. And by present, I mean prize. Doesn't lower that gate though, damn it. Um. All right then. I guess we're going the long way through. Uh, we're going back in because I want I want that treasure. So I guess. Uh, I guess I want this one. Or do I want the lower tube? Let's try this one. I think it's this one? We'll find out here in a second. <clears throat> I don't know, actually. I'm just kind of, you know, hoping. Hoping beyond hope. Oh, yeah, there we are. Yeah. Beautiful. Rainbow conch. And I've opened the door. Oh, I didn't realize I could latch on the ladders. That's cool. All right, well, I learned something today. I have learned something today. Uh, that being, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, we're going down. I don't want to go down. I want to go up. Whoops. <laughs> I made a mistake. Um, so where, pray tell, would I place this pearl then? They're probably up, actually. There it is. <clears throat> Upward, onward, and outward. Blip. Yeah. Do that. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. Well, it, because I wasn't paying attention, I was in too much of a rush to go other places. Hey, look at that, a save point. <clears throat> or maybe I'm just stupid. Uh, <laughs> where am I going? Oh boy, another ten minutes of this. Sweet. Um... I need the blue pearl, but I don't know what for.
And I don't know where I'm supposed to put it. <clears throat> this place reminds me of the Great Bay Temple. Mixed with Snowhead. But... Oh, duh. <laughs> I'm very smart. <clears throat> but all right, let's pop on in here, shall we? Yep, yeah, there we are. And save button. Now, how am I doing on health? Uh, I'm very hurt, but you know what? Um, I can fix that. Bah, excuse me. There we go. All right, so we're gonna save again real quick and just give this another go. The energy from this door feels odd. I bet the big mystery we're supposed to find is right behind it. No handles, can't push it open either. And it's not resonating with her innate magic. Maybe we're just supposed to knock? Man, if only it were that simple, Garl. The Great Archives. Oh, me. I love the Great Archives. And their efforts in the tower proved valiant, but alas, as fate would have it when these events first occurred, the mysterious door remained firmly shut. Despite their best efforts in the face of the setback, our heroes were unable to reach Mace Island in time, and the Dweller of Strife turned into a world leader. They fought ever so bravely, but in the end, their lives and their world were lost. Thus, we arrive at the crux of tonight's musings. A single question. How far might they go should fate be given a nudge and the door that once sat closed were to be opened? Let us find out. Come in. What is this place? It smells musty. Good evening, and welcome to the Great Archives. <clears throat> Please excuse the mess, I tend to get absorbed in my work. Wait, are you really? Titles are for stories and myths. Please call me Reshawn. Reshawn? That's even cooler than Extol. Wait, so you're the Immortal Alchemist? I suppose so. Unreal! Alchemist, sir, we... Please, call me Rashawn. <clears throat> Rashawn, this is really unexpected. Yeah, we... Can't you just fix all this then? Unfortunately, no. I am bound by a very strict code. There are no words to express the suffering that would ensue would I, were I to take matters into my own hands. Worse than a dweller turning into a world leader? Not to minimize, but you must understand that in the grand scheme of things, your reality is simply one of many. By fixing your realm, I would unleash Aferol's wrath on countless others. That is unacceptable. Who's Aferol? My former associate. Where your people call me the Immortal Alchemist, they refer to Aferol as the Fleshmancer. Is he hiding somewhere here too? Your world is safe, at least in this regard. Aferol left a long time ago. Should he learn of my presence here, however, we'd take him on. He's nothing but a loser. Now, it appears time is of the essence. We need to get on to Maze Island. Can you help? I might, but first we must determine whether or not you can help yourselves. We know how to fight. Of course you do, but this matter is about whether you can, tr whether you truly are who I'm hoping you are. For now, I would send you to a remote location where, encased in the ice, lies a long-lost artifact. What kind of artifact? I will say no more at this time. If letting you in here was the proper course of action, its power will call to you. 
The portal leads to where it went forgotten. Recover the artifact, then I shall entertain this plan of yours. Alright, good talk, bud. Good talk, Grand Archivist. I was expecting a boss fight, actually. I'm a little upset about that. Ooh. Pumping beads for a frozen island. Honestly, kind of reminds me of Bergen. From CrossCode. And besides, I was tired of the water anyway. It's time to go hang out in the ice. Glacial hike. Ooh, it's so good! I don't want to fight Sfeel. These aren't Sfeel. This is like Sfeel mixed with Gengar. What the hell am I looking at? What are you little bastards? Roche Crosser there, eh? Roche across the air? Alright, sure, let's go with that. Roche across the air. <clears throat> Very acrobatic, I will give them that. Oh, bullshit. Snowball crash! I like these little guys. They're very cute. <clears throat> I haven't gotten a chance to throw a sunball at somebody in a while. I want to see if this actually does what I think it's going to do. They're not weak to sun damage. Alright, good to know. But they are weak to getting cut in half, so, you know, we got that going for us. <coughs> Wait, hold up a second. I want to go back here. I missed the berries. Yoink! <clears throat> oh, good. We get to do more sliding puzzles. I love sliding puzzles. That's really cool. I like that a lot. What happens if I, you know... Oh, so it's just gone? Okay. That's, that's clever. I like that a lot. Alright, what do we got here? Music sheet number five. I get the feeling I'm missing a lot of collectibles and secrets. Because there's one guy that my brother told me about where I'm, uh... Yeah, apparently you can find him pretty much everywhere, and he says one or two things to you, but it's in, I think it's in French? And, uh, near the end of the game, he finally tells you, Yeah, I've been asking you for something this entire time, and you haven't given it to me. Why not? Alright. All right, back to full health. Let's go fight Roche across it air. Oh, cool, an ice gold. Why does he have drums? He's an ice DJ. Holy shit, I love this monster. <laughs> what are you, Boulder douche? Okay. I know these names are French, but... <laughs> Is it Boulder douche? Douche? I, uh, I, I, I know it means something shower. Bold shower? I don't know. He's just fucking... God damn it, he's so cool! <laughs> he's just so cool! Look at him jam! <laughs> alright, alright. I don't know, I don't, want, I don't want to take the sun power. I want you to have the sun power so I can... Cut the DJ in half. Oh, he, resi he resists sun damage? What? Or does he resist... Oh, he's not happy about that. <laughs> he's not happy! Ow. There we go. I've got the timing down, I think. Um. So, I'm just gonna kick this guy in the groin. Because I hate him. 
Stop that. Thunk, thunk. <clears throat> now, to find out if he actually is weak to sun damage or if I if he just weak to slashes. He's weak to sun or he's resistant to sun damage. Good to know. That's cool. I like that. That is this monster is badass. Down he goes. Yeah! You stop that. <clears throat> and down goes the little monster. I can't, I can't get over the music here. But I am going to go. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, to carry on your merry way. But when we return, I will, um, I guess I'll be across this chasm. So I hope you all enjoy this, because this music is... Oh, I can't get enough of this place. I don't want to ever leave this place. This music is just so damn good. What's the guy's name? Yasunori? Uh, the, the lead composer for the Xenoblade franchise is, uh, definitely flexing his muscles here. He knows what he's doing. But I'm going to go. Hope you all enjoyed this one, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye, everybody. It's been a ton of fun.